God bless each one of you, brothers and sisters. Remember how today we are living in the days of Noah. How there is so much murdering. How there's so much tribulations and problems. But remember, remember this, brothers and sisters, how we're not living for us. We're living for Christ. Look at this clip. Verse 13, but evil men and imposters will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Paul said this 2,000 years ago. It's, it's always the case. It's always the case. We have been living in the last days since the, the coming death, resurrection and ascension of Christ. That's when the last days began. This is the age of the Messiah. This is the time of trouble. This is a difficulty. This life is not supposed to be easy because we don't live it for us. We don't live it for a home. We don't live it for new cars. We don't live it for all these kinds of things. We live it for him, just for him. That's it. You see, in the mind of God, Christ is not just something. He's not even just your savior. The son is everything. Everything was made for him, by him, for him, for him. Everything God has ever done, he's done for his son. And the only reason you're going to heaven is because he loves your, his son. Even in the old rabbinic literature, before the coming of Christ, the old commentaries and such, they would constantly say things like, Everything is for Messiah. The whole world is for Messiah. The universe for Messiah. Everything for Christ. Everything is for Christ. Everything. And whether you're a minister or a carpenter or a businessman, it is the same. Because I have met carpenters and businessmen and others that were far more godly than I could ever hope to be. This is not about preachers. This is about everyone who calls on the name of Christ. Everyone. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Brothers and sisters, remember how we are right now living in the days of Noah. And Christ is coming. All the ministries right now. Remember that all the glory goes to God. Everything is for Christ. Everything is for Christ. God bless each one of you. And remember... Jesus loves you.